Right on folks, John Crane here in my shop and today we are going to take this valve and we're gonna make a cutaway so we can see inside and see how this valve works. Now this is a type of globe valve and I think this is gonna be a fun project. I was over in Seattle the other day, you know, doing my errands and I stopped by a salvage yard called uh, Earthwise Architectural Salvage. They had a couple of these valves laying around there. So I picked these up. This one is quite rusted. I did soak it in Evaporest overnight. See if I could maybe loosen some things up. We'll see if we can open this up or not. But this is gonna be a fun project. You know, a cutaway is always a cool thing to make. Uh, Scout Crafter, he did a cutaway on a gate valve not too long ago. Mr. Pete, he's done some cutaways. You know, he's made all kinds of cutaways, but it is a, uh, a fun process. We're gonna be over here on the milling machine, open this up. So let's get busy with this. Let's see if we can crack this valve open. Isn't this a, a cool looking valve? Look at this thing, right? I don't know what era this is from, maybe the 40s or 30s or something, but a cool old valve. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get any movement on this. Oh, look at that. That's coming off, that's good. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, good thing I didn't throw out all the crescent wrenches. Maybe we can get onto this nut. Oh yeah, that's turning. Oh yeah, and there's lots of rest. Oh man, that is cool that that is cracking off. Part of me didn't think we we're gonna be able to get into this. Oh, look at this. Look at this, this is a different kind of valve here. All right, I got this locked up here in the Charles Parker and I'm gonna to attempt to get onto this handle. Oh, that's moving. Oh, that's nice. So we got coming in one side, comes through the top and then out over here. And you see this right here is machined to seat down right on that. But you see this here on the top, they got, I wanna get this handle off and they got kind of like a pin in the top. I'm gonna see if I can put this on the lathe, skim this off. Maybe we can drill that out. We could get this handle off and we can get this whole assembly assembly apart. All right, you see that? Yeah, I didn't want to crank this speed up too much because I just have it locked on the handle. Looks like I could take another small pass. All right, now over here at the milling machine, I'm gonna to try to drill this out. movement. Okay, with this handle off, I think I might be able to remove this packing nut. Okay, I got that to break free. All right, I just ran that a little bit on the wire wheel, but I think with that off, I'm hoping we're able to screw this all the way out. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Yeah, there we go. All right, I got it all nice and cleaned up. And I think the plan is now, I think I'm gonna leave this side with the 275 and we'll remove this side. But to do it, I think we're gonna put it back together, tighten it up, and then we can clamp it in the mill and then shave off this side. All right, with these two sides flat, now I can put this into the vise right here in the middle.
right, we're just starting to break through. Look how thick that is. But I tell you, I don't make things like this anymore. Nowadays, this would be like a, right, a sixteenth of an inch thick on the valve. All right, but we're gonna keep cutting through here and we just wanna expose a little bit of these threads right in here. Now you can see that we've just broken through the threads there, and I think that's great. I'm just gonna polish those threads off on the side. But now it's gonna be time to take off this whole section here. I wanna open up this kind of oval top I think our milling is done. We can pop this out and see what we got here. Actually, now I've decided to soften this edge a little bit. pretty good, eh? I'm liking that. That's a little bit, a little nicer. All right, that is looking awesome. Now I think I'm just gonna take this apart and we're gonna clean up all these edges. <laughs> all right, I got those edges nice and cleaned up. I got a little bit of whey oil here. I'm just gonna put a couple drops. I'll slide our deal up right here. Get that nice and lubricated. We can put our deal back in. I'm Earl Shive. I'll pay any car for just 9995 all right let's see here we can slide our check out that got that painted up nice all right and then i got a little pin that i can drop in here just like that let's see what we got here oh yeah Look at that, dynamite. All right, there we go. I think that turned out pretty good. Look at the nice red handle on this. We got the black paint and you can see all the action going on inside here. You can see how that seats down on that opening there and you can see the action of the threads. I didn't put the packing or anything back in. Now I believe that this globe valve was probably for an oil furnace, you know, being that this is cast iron, if you had oil running through this, this isn't gonna rust. And uh, looking at the lines too, you know, look at the 90 that was going into this thing. Look how old that 90 is, right? That's some old school stuff right there. And then this was coming out of the other side, looks like a stainless steel flexible line, looks like a an oil line and that makes sense. These are good with uh, thick viscosity 
uh, fluids, say in the winter time, that oil is a little bit thicker, but pretty cool. I'm excited to have this thing. I know it's kind of a, a frivolous uh, deal making this, you know what, we're going to put it on the shelf, but it is kind of fun to make and operate. And we are going to do the same, you know, with this gate valve. See this? This is how this gate valve operates. And uh, a lot of these valves now have been replaced with uh, ball valves. These gate valves are notorious for getting stuck in the down position. You know, a lot of times people are cranking on this handle so tight to shut it off when they go to open it up. The threads strip out inside and you can't open that gate and the handle just spins and spins and spins. You got to crack this thing all open and it's really difficult to get that gate back out. Whereas in this valve here, you can crank this pretty tight and get a nice seal. Only thing in this, you know, with oil it seems okay, but if there's a lot of water running through this over time, that seal in there can erode. A lot of these now have a, a rubber washer in there that you can, you know, take in and out, put a new rubber washer to make the seal. All right, I think that turned out awesome. I think in the words of uh, our buddy there, Scout Crafter, he said, you know, what maniac doesn't like a cutaway? I tell you, these are fabulous. And uh, be sure to check out his channel and go look at that cutaway he did on a gate valve. That thing turned out so nice. I'm gonna attempt to do the same on this one here. And check out Mr. Pete. He's done tons of cutaways on uh, Briggs and Stratton engines and transmissions and all kinds of things. I don't know, just a fun project to do. All right, right on folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had fun. Yeah, just kind of a fun project here in the shop. The inspector sleeping right over here next to me. And uh, all right, we're signing off for now and uh, we'll see y'all soon. Right on. This is New Jersey. Brought to you each week at this time by the State Department of Conservation and Economic Development in cooperation with the New Jersey Manufacturers Association. Arlene R. Fair, editor. Next week's program is Today's Pilgrims. Be listening then. <laughs>